Greetings everyone, it's Kane here. Welcome to my video. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how does it feel to be 30? I turned 30 September 12th, 2024. I've been on this physical world three decades. And it feels amazing. Very proud of myself. Being on this world three decades, I observe my surroundings. Circumstance taking effect. I am aware, I adapt, I evolve. And most 30 year olds out here, I'm just gonna be blunt about it, look like shit. I, uh, I'm in my prime. I'm feeling good. Uh, each year goes by, I don't know. You would think with my grandparents passing away, uh, you know, that I've gotten down a dark path, a dysfunctional path, a path of uncertainty and just uh, just being lost. But uh, the Tao will sustain me long enough. I've managed to adapt positively and just uh, thrive out here with very little living below my means. And it takes a lot up here guys everything up here has to be in check you gotta keep on top of things stay on top of things and uh you too when you reach 30 could feel amazing so full of life and uh drive and such hunger to live You can do it. It takes consistent discipline. You have to want it. You know, some people just have it. Others don't. But you just have to want it. You have to want to live. Most 20-year-olds out here look like absolute garbage. You know, they have gotten down a dysfunctional path of no return because there are no second chances when it comes to certain things and uh, are on a path to hell dysfunction in balance unbalanced and uh i'm here to tell you you know uh it could be done with very little i only have one full-time job i uh live below my means as you know i live very minimalistic and you too they have a very uh you too could have a a full circle functioning life of abundance. When it comes right down to it, you have to have gratitude. Be very grateful for whatever situation you are in because there are others out here, either humans, animals, uh, both are animals, I suppose, but you know, others have it much worse than you. You have to be very grateful for whatever situation you are in because uh, there's people in Haiti eating mud cookies. There's people in the Philippines living under a bridge under a highway there's people in America that that are destitute to where destitute of no return you know the only uh, path that will flourish within them is death is exiting this physical world which is quite sad but you know you either got to get busy living or get busy dying plain and simple anyway just came back from florida uh i love florida but it truly makes me grateful to be back in colorado because i love driving driving in florida is an absolute mess the roads are very small i guess skinny uh, it just feels very congested. As here in Colorado, it just feels so open, which I like. Don't get me wrong, I love Florida. It was just, when I got there, it was the peak of hurricane season, so it was hot, guys. It was fucking hot. And, yeah, it was good to be back. I want to go back to Florida maybe in April. 
I'm either going to go to California or Florida in April. We shall see. Time will tell. I'm still alive around that time. There are no guarantees. Anyway, I am now 30. Most people have reached a midlife crisis around this point. Not going to lie, I've reached a midlife crisis when I turned 25. Um, 30 is a big scary number. Everyone's always saying, oh, the dirty 30s, uh, what have you. You're an old man. Uh, you should have your house. You should have a kid. You should have, you know, all this bullshit in which when people say you should, the shoulds, that person is dysfunctional. Because there are no shits. It's just life. Get on with it. Everyone has a different circumstance. A different uh, way of evolving. Um, evolved in a different environment, you know. Point is, you're still alive. You have your health. And, uh, you do your best in living a joyful, content life. Because that's what all we want. That's the main objective is to be joyful and content. And to be spontaneous. Obviously, we all deserve new things, you know, here and there. I just came back from a vacation. I just ruled the dice. I rolled the dice and said, you know what? I'm going to Florida. You know, um, sometimes you just got to do that. Be like that. I uh, truly enjoyed Florida, though. I was in a high-rise right next to the beach. I tell you guys, I was meant to be rich. Because I truly enjoyed it. Just sitting in the chair in the shade, looking at the beach. And then turning my head around, looking at all the palm trees in the city. It was a good feeling. It's a feeling I needed. Really and truly. Much needed. And uh, it just makes me grateful. You know? live like a king but it makes me feel grateful just to live normal there's nothing wrong with being normal guys you know uh the philosophy i believe in deeply and follow uh Taoism, you know it's all about being plain and simple as average as a stone you know you don't want to glitter like a dime um like a uh like a jewel no, just be average and normal as a stone. Huh. It goes deeper than that, but you know, for those of you who know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, being 30, three decades, another decade, I'll be 40. We'll see if I still have all my hair. <laughs> That's one thing, it is my hair. The only negative thing, you know, I feel great health-wise, um, been getting a lot of muscle lately. I've been uh, feeling very confident, very charismatic. But my hair, uh, even if I go bald, I'm very confident in myself. I think I will look very good bald. Whatever, you know. My grandpa was bald. Uh, unfortunately, he was very insecure about it. Everywhere he would go, he would wear a hat. Unless he was home, you know. I'm not going to be like that. I will embrace my baldness if I do go bald. If, I, I don't know. It's been, yeah, it's, it's probably been thinning a little bit more throughout the years. It is what it is, you know. You just got to love yourself for who you are. Everyone has positives and negatives. If I had to choose a negative, it'd probably be my hair. You know, I could rock the bald look. I think I have a nice egg head. Um, other than that, it feels good to be 30. Now, uh, I get a plethora of compliments of people telling me that I don't look 30, that I like early 20s, mid 20s, maybe late 20s, um, mainly in the mid 20s, like 24, 25, which is uh, very inspiring. I like those compliments. We need more compliments on this planet. No one compliments anymore. You know, um, the only people that compliment is men complimenting women. But no one compliments men. You know, we have feelings too. But uh, they go a long way. Um, Hell, some people even thought I was 20 the other day. You know. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? I like being 30. It's, uh, I'm very proud of myself because I've managed to still be alive. Because there's been encounters and times to where I've almost lost my life. Um, but I'm very glad that I swam through the bullshit and uh, continue to be here. Because it's pretty fun out here. You know, most of us see this world as ugly, but as the, the three men who drank from the vinegar, it was the Buddhist, the Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucius. When the Buddhists drank from the vinegar, he saw the world as bitter. When the Confucius drank it, he saw it as sour. But when the Taoist drank it, he saw it as sweet. This life, guys, is truly fun and can be very sweet. Quit thinking so much. This world is very simple, but we insist on making it complicated. We make everything complicated. We make everything stressful, a mess. You know, it's a, uh, we live in a world of uncertainty, so you have to make the most of your time. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got, guys. Uh, have fun, live joyful, take a vacation, you know. I used to look down on the vacations because it's uh, renting the car, you got to buy the plane, sitting on the plane, uh, getting to your destination alive, you know. <laughs> it could be very uh, hectic, but doing it like once or every twice, every two, once or here and there, a year or so. Uh, could really make you feel grateful simply of just where you're at. Don't get me wrong, if I had a million dollars, if I was a millionaire, I'd be in Florida, but Colorado is a very beautiful state. Perfect state to be minimalistic and comfortable. You know, Florida, if you're outside all the time, it could be very uncomfortable, unless you're an iguana. You know, I think it was just hurricane season. Because that was intense. Like, literally, getting right out of the shower, I'd be sweating. It was intense. But, uh, I had a good time, and I'm very grateful. Anyway, leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you.